Crow. Good evening. It's yours truly as I return back to the scene of the crime where Marcos and Madonna attacked an unarmed Adrian Brown. Well, he had two arms, but he didn't use them. <laughs> oh my goodness! Can we charge Marcos Madonna for assault and battery? That was a beatdown. That's like one of them, like, you've been bullying me and picking on me in school for three, four weeks straight, and I'm tired of it. That was what that was. And he said, you know what, we fighting t tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And the bully thought he had to fight lock. He was bragging and smiling and got a foot put in his mouth. Okay, now, breaking down the fight, how it went down. From the opening bell, Adrian Broder made a mistake. He underestimated Marcos Madonna's aggression. He could not get the timing down. He didn't let Adrian Broner place a foot and get set. He pushed Adrian Broner back immediately. Exactly what he wanted to do. Broner was clowning, grabbing him, trying to shove him off to get his space, but he was too arrogant and going about it, keeping his chin in the air, not putting his defense up, and trying to gauge and read Madonna early. You don't know Madonna yet. Stay in a defensive shell till you try to figure him out. He didn't do it. He was pulling straight back, pushing his arms down, and getting caught. Madonna was throwing fast speed left, off speed left hooks. He'll dip down his shoulders and look you in the stomach as if he's throwing it there, and then he'll throw a windmill left hook up top. Something he's always known for, and then he chops down with his right hand. He throws it from different variations. To where it looks like the punch is coming directly down in a straight <laughs> 90 degree slant. Adrian Brona was not prepared to fight Marcos Madonna and it was proven. Madonna had one mission, I am going to destroy you and that is it. He had no respect for him. He came in and did exactly what he was supposed to do and Adrian Brona could not think fast enough to adjust. In the second round. <laughs> Because I don't want to talk about the knockdown. The knockdown is academic. After that, he decided he wanted to fight Marcos Madonna, which was even more stupid. But the stupidest mistake he made was in the second round. He comes back and thinks he needs to stand right in front of Marcos Madonna. You don't do that. It's a lot of pressure on you. You did get embarrassed. You did get knocked down. But standing in front of Madonna is not going to help. If you're going to stand in front of Madonna, you better make him pay. Or do something to push him back, grab him, or something you needed to use, or that 24 by 24 ring that you begged for, and they gave to you, you should have used it. You should have moved around, jab, stay on your toes, box. That's what you're supposed to do. Marcos Madonna was hitting him with jabs, boxing him, going downstairs, upstairs, hooks, all speed, right hands over the top. He could not do anything with Marcos Madonna. And he couldn't figure it out. He didn't even know what was going on. His corners losing their mind in there, yelling at him. It was in disarray. All of this worried about the wardrobe. All of this worried about where the after party going to be. Am I rapping? Basketball tournaments tomorrow. He supposed to be at the celebrity tournaments. Now we know he ain't going. <laughs> Club's going to be closed. He ain't going there either. Now you got a trip to the hospital. <laughs> That's the only... That's the only place you didn't book that you're going to be scheduled to appear. In the hospital. And why? Because you put yourself there by being cocky. And this is where he put his career in jeopardy. I want to speed it up to round seven. Because in the middle round, Adrian did start pushing him back a little bit. Bro, I mean, Madonna was fatiguing a little bit because he threw a lot of power punches. But let's go to round seven. This was the telling round of the entire fight. Round seven, he gets dropped again, getting caught, same left hook punches. After that, he ties up Madonna's arms. Madonna pulls his head straight back, and it touches his chin, glancingly touches his chin. Not enough for no, like, purposely done thing. He's trying to get his arms free. You don't want to tie him up, and the ref didn't come over there to break it. 
So he cries about it to the ref. Then he realizes, this is my way out the fight. Then <laughs> starts rolling on the ground, rolls in his corner. And I said, oh, don't do this to yourself. Your career is done. Your career is done. You're never going to live that down. You could come back and knock out Madonna again. No one is going to forget you rolling on the ground into your own corner and rolling back like a log. <laughs> oh, my jaw. Then they take a point away from Madonna for it. Then he takes the five minutes. Who takes the five-minute break? He's taking the five-minute break because he was already hurt from the knockdown. Then after this, he comes back out. You think that M Madonna was like, okay, well, everybody's like, okay, Brona got a rest. This helps Adrian Brona. It was the worst mistake he ever made because he pissed off Marcos Madonna. And Marcos Madonna also got five minutes of rest. And he just beat the living S <laughs> out of Adrian Broner for like three straight rounds. It was just onslaught, onslaught. He couldn't do anything about it. And I, I wrote about it. I did not, I wrote about it. I did not get a chance to make a video about it. But Adrian Broner was going into this fight after the weigh-in. Adrian Broner went into this fight at 144. This is with glasses and everything on. I'm like, he is too light to be getting in the ring with Madonna, who's already been fighting at welterweight. So he came into this game too light and put himself at risk. And this show, he is not, he's not strong enough to deal and keep Madonna off of him. He hit Madonna with a cheap shot at the end of the 11th round that hurt Madonna, and Madonna had to go see the doctor the ringside doctor and they had to look at his eye and everything and get him checked out because that was an illegal punch he had let his guards down because the bell rung and then he gets sucker punched so good thing it didn't have an effect in the fight he was still a little shooken up about it when he got jabbed in the second or twelfth round I was just hoping that no controversy happened like Braun to come back and stop him but he did a lot of work to the body which took a lot of wind out of the sails of Adrian Broner that's why he wasn't throwing punches back a lot because he was getting hit a lot and he, he was hurt. He didn't have the energy either. He was trying to save it. So, good fight all the way across the board. Brauner made it to 12 rounds. He survived, even though he tried to get out in the seventh. And the ref's like, no, you're going to stick around. So, <laughs> he ends up sticking around. And Madonna has now earned himself a shot at Floyd Mayweather. What y'all think about the fight? I'm out. Great night. What you got to say anything to your fans? <laughs> Can you tell them in Spanish what I just said? Sum it up in one sentence. Uh, <laughs> what he just said. <laughs> we out.